I welcome you all to the final installment of Relgan's Foremost vs Protoss. Hello everyone, I'm Relgan here with another CVP. We already saw how Chenix tried to beat this Foremost and failed. We saw how another Protoss tried to build uh, Colossi to beat this Foremost and got Neural Parasited. And now we're going to have a big match. This is our final... This is what I have planned to be the final match of this series. If you guys really want to see more I will be happily I will happily deliver you some more replays but for now I think this is going to be the last one. What we are doing is the standard opener as always. We see a lot of um, well chatting going on between us because he is my friend or my buddy and um, I like to try out the uh, new things and kind of test them out against him. Not really going to talk about the opener too much. We kind of talked about it in the last two replays, so it would be boring to talk about the same things every single game. Isn't that right? I'm going for the infestation pit, of course, after the three-minute lair. I'm throwing down two spore crawlers because I realized that he built that star gate. So I see the oracle flying across the map. Wow! <laughs> Cannot follow by f with faster times four. He's flying all over my base trying to find the spire or whatever I'm going for. That's actually one thing I haven't really talked about yet. This build looks like a two base mutalisk opener because you have the three minute layer, you have you take four gases, you build a lot of links and you don't really spend your gas. Kinda kind of reminds me of the two base mutalisk opener at least. We have a look at the income tab, I'm slightly behind in workers, but that's okay for me. I built a lot of links. I didn't really need to build them, but I built them because I was scared of an attack following up with the oracles. I should have scouted better, maybe make an overseer to realize that I don't have to deal with that many um, units going across the map. I'm also investing a lot of money into upgrades this time. You will sometimes see me get only one upgrade, sometimes double upgrade. I don't think double upgrade is uh, smart at all. Because you need a lot of gas to uh, build the infestors. I then get both oracles for the price of three fungals. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Because if he just pushes across the map, then my infestors don't really have anything ready either. But I'm happy that, uh, that I was able to delete the three oracles. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. There's not too much happening right now. I mean we saw what we are trying, we all know what we try to do against the Arcan opener, right? Which is fungal it. Uh, the war prism. And against Phoenix we saw yesterday we tried to fungal the Phoenix against Oracle. We tried to fungal the Oracle. Or we just wait for the big fight. So this game is pushing a little bit more aggressive with the first Colossi already. Like he has one Colossi out and he's already going for the push. I'm always being a little bit too aggressive with the... with the... Thormost for my... for my... Well, what I feel because... Well, they're not that tanky, right? They die, they die pretty quick. Well, they are pretty tanky, but... They don't really do much besides tank. The Locusts shoot, but the Thormost don't. He's pushing uh, around, trying to find what's up. I'm getting the Neural Parasite again to well, Neural the Colossi, I, I guess. Maybe the Void Ray. I have Queens to deal with the Void Ray, that's why I have so many Queens as well. I need the Creep Spread and they also are kind of my magic defense uh, defend against anything unit. We're going to see um, a weakness of this style as well quite soon. And I'm going to go for a lot of Swarmos. Like this is not going to be like your 5-10 Swarmos game. This is going to be your 30 Swarmos game. Like 200 supply, almost only Swarmos. <coughs> I'm all, I already have 13 and I'm adding 8 more. And I think I'll add even more a little bit later on. I mostly stay defensive with them. One thing that I haven't talked about either yet. I'm going to pause quickly. A knight is somewhere in, in his base right now, dropping off the locusts, going back in with the swarmos, having them at home. Could be smart. The problem is if I um, would send all my swarmos to his base that way, then I wouldn't have any locusts to defend. So you always need to micromanage how many locusts you use offensively and how many defensively. But he's ready for the big push out. I have my neural parasite ready as well. 
So let's have a look how this goes. My link's going a little bit too quickly for my liking. I'm trying to neural parasite the colossi. Didn't quite get all of them, but I managed to delay them and to work on them for a long enough time for my units to kind of deal with his. Here we see how well locusts do against stalkers. Those were two locusts. Two locusts unupgraded. I think they have armor upgrades, but that doesn't really matter. And they did quite a number on those stalkers. And even though the game looked kind of scrappy and I had, uh, I had made some mistakes early on. Right now we are up to, let's check, 21 warmos adding two more. I don't really have too much else. Like I have no more infestors ready. I'm building the spire right now and we're going to see what I plan to do with that quite soon as well. Just dropping off all the locusts and here I was like, eh, this is not really going my favor. But these locusts, man, like, look, <laughs> it's so insane. <laughs> he cannot push against it because he lost so many colossi. And, and, and at this point I was like, okay, guys, so we are up to 23 swarmos. Let, uh, let's add 10 more. Because <laughs> uh, you can never have enough swarmos, right? I'm going to be maxed with swarm host queen. I have 12 queens ready as well. <laughs> and the <qu> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so funny to me, but... The queens are going to be really interesting as well because I used them against the Colossi and he's adding 3 stargates now because he's like well, what the fuck am I playing against right so I'm going to go um, going to add the stargate and I guess that will help I'm firing half my locusts only instead of all of them oh my god will I get that Colossi just look at this look at this <laughs> delete it he has stalkers over here. Now this is where it starts to get problematic. So he has stalkers over there, but I cannot actually deal with them. Like I have no unit that can kill the stalkers. Um, I'm dropping locusts in his natural. I think I will actually kill that robo. If, but will yeah, I think I'm gonna kill it. Right? Yeah. Look at this. Look at that damage. The colossus I got out, but we killed the robo. And over here, I have to deal with the stalkers. So I figured. If I don't have any units that can shoot at them, I can drop off like locusts, but he will just blink away. Um, I guess I'm just gonna send my queens there. If you look at the income tab, I'm at 60 workers. I never really went much higher than that. Like, I don't really have income. This space is starting to mine out. I'm being sloppy with my drones, of course. Over here we see some more locust carnage. <laughs> this is such a fun game. And he's adding carriers. So the the fi the issue with adding carriers is latest that you didn't really upgrade them, right? And I didn't really upgrade my units either, my air units, my corruptors that I'm going to use. He's still trying to kill this base, but I have 12 queens, so I just constant. Now how many queens do I have? 11. Sorry, I only got 11 queens, but I'm constantly transfusing this uh, base to keep it alive. The stalkers are still killing stuff over here. They killed off this hatch already and a couple drones. If you look at the workers killed tab, he killed 19 workers and I killed 0. I'm being very defensive with the swarmers, so I should really start to use Nidus swarms or something like that. But, um, I don't know. I was a little bit overwhelmed with the situation, to be honest. Because there's a lot of things that you need to um, keep in mind and uh, take care of. Here I just dropped six locusts to quickly take care of the salads. And then we go in. I realize that the workers are going there, uh, which tells me that he's taking the base. He should have killed these rocks, I'm not sure what he was doing there. So I'm sending the corruptors in to kill the carriers. And I already have my corruptors ready. If you have your corruptors ready when your opponent is building his carriers, you're in a decent position. I'm kind of messing up my micro here a bit. And then I'm going in to snipe that one last carrier. Over here he's trying to kill my my greatest spire. It's down to 200, 100, 200, 300, 600, 700. And he's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Sorry for all the cursing. It's really inappropriate. <laughs> this hatch is still alive with 17 HP as well. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I think he's gonna try to laser it down with the, with the Oracle. But um, I kind of talked about, so 
he's building carriers right now, but we already have our um, our swarmos ready as well. So we send our locusts across the map, trying to do as much damage as we can. Corruptors focused on the carriers. Now he has stalkers, but the stalkers die so quickly against the locusts. Like, look at this, the stalkers just explode. My queens are kind of late to the party. Using queens would be quite important as well. I kind of messed that up. I'm also noticing that he's warping in the mothership right now. Um, the nice advantage that I have right now is because I actually lost you in second build links to finally clean up the mess that's over here. My swarmers are still all alive and I still have all these queens that are going to be quite helpful in the next big engagement. Getting the damage upgrade, the double spires, I can get the carapace upgrade as well. I didn't necessarily as expect carriers because I never scouted. I'm playing a little bit sloppy right there. Um, here I realized, well, if I just drop off like two locusts, he already has to escape, right? Because they, <laughs> they did just kill his stuff so quickly. So I'm getting ready for the next attack. I'm adding some more infestors so I can neural parasite as well. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit as again. Sending charge slots around that side. Now, what I'm doing right here is I focus the corruptors on the carriers and I'm microing the queens to constantly transfuse the swarm uh, the corruptors at the same time I bur burrowed the swarmers so they don't get in the way of things the locust well did a lot of damage I guess uh, all the swarmers have a lot of kills uh, all the carriers are falling, we still have links here as well. The links are upgraded so they do a lot of damage to his charge slots. Queens are still pushing, the carriers are falling. We have, uh, have to deal with charge slots over here but that's kind of okay I guess. Yeah. We have infestors now as well, he had to retreat because well, I cannot kill the queens. <laughs> this one queen has 10 kills, what is that one? Queens are doing an insane job as well. This one has 10 kills. I think most of them are interceptors, but it's okay anyways. I'm not gonna say no to kills. Then goes for another push out. So we have our burrowed infestors somewhere. I'm not sure they're there over there. They're kinda slow, but they'll get here eventually. Focus firing the carriers with my Corruptors assimilating the carriers with the neural parasite, and then would you look at this beautiful cliff? Send locusts into that base, could have done that from the start. Then I go in, clean up the last couple units, and he has to GG out. Guys, if you want to see more of this style, please, please tell me in the comments or message me on Twitch or whatever. I play this style quite often on my stream at the moment, if you're into that. Link is in the description down below as well, as well as the replay, if you want to have a closer look at what happened this game. Kind of went over these games a little bit slower than I do about uh, over, my, over most of my other games to kind of highlight what was going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And tomorrow... Let me think. I think I got a CBT game with Swarmhost tomorrow. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow we're going to have a look at CBT Swarmhost. I guess we're just gonna make this the Swarmhost week. So until tomorrow, thank you all for watching. Bye!